What the last example illustrated is that we, if we have any arbitrary shape with forces applied at only two points, take for example the shape here and forces applied to A and B, this can only be in equilibrium if the forces at A and B are acting along the line of action from A to B. Therefore, as drawn here, this member cannot be in equilibrium because if we were to take a moment about A, it could not possibly be equal to zero, and if we took a moment about B, it could also not possibly equal to zero, violating the equilibrium conditions. Therefore, taking the same shape again, the only two scenarios where it can be in equilibrium is if we have a force applied at B along the line of action from A to B, and an equal and opposite force applied at A along the line of action called FA. Of course, this would put the member here in tension because these forces are opposing each other. If, however, they were directed towards each other, we would call this compression. So if I had RA along the line of action from A to B, and FB along the line of action from A to B, this would put this shape in compression. This here is a two-force member that is in equilibrium because the forces are directed from A to B. Knowing this can be powerful because if you're given a two-force member, you will only have one unknown when trying to determine a force at the point of contact because it must be directed along the line of action of the two-force member points of contact. must be directed along the two force members' forces point of application.